So guys, it's me again. But right, today I thought I'd pop down to a local beach of mine. See if I can catch some yellowfin whiting. Um, they're not as popular as well. It's not as many around these days as what they used to be. But I thought I'd come down and have a go. This is the rig I like to use. Hook. It's actually a number six number six fine gauge wire hook one above a sliding sinker there's the sliding sinker above a above a small swivel down to another hook the hooks are actually 10 pound trace the main la the main line is six pound trace down to six pound braid on a 1,000 reel. And the fishing rod I'm using, I've had it for 30, 35 years. It's one of the old flick stick super sticks. Beautiful, irreplaceable rod. Anyway, yesterday I went worming. If you've watched my worm video and seen how I look after them, this is how I looked after them. Well, these worms are now over 24 hours old look how lively they are i did say in the video that they last for two to three days well this is one day this is over one day so they'll be allowed alive tomorrow no problem so they'll make the two days third day can be iffy it would probably help if you've got a squeezy bottle salt water and maybe gave the hesham a bit of a squirt but you have to look after them. You've got to put them in a cool place at home. That's not all the worms I caught yesterday. The rest are in the freezer for mullet bait. I've made a bit of burley for the day. That's my burley. It's a bit of crushed up prawns. My secret tuna oil burley with curry and garlic. But yeah, you need something just to just to get the fish interested so yeah I'm allowed 20 20 whiting is my bag limit and I think it's 24 centimeters but I'll check that on my phone but I don't really want to keep any under 24 centimeters they're a bit small okay let's start fishing I'll put some worm on the hook I actually like the tail end of the worm, the nice brown bit. Yeah, just thread a piece on the hook like this. If there's whiting there and feeding, you don't need a big piece of worm at all because they love it. Hook the worm back in. So you threaded it, brought it out and hooked it back in. Break it off. Look at that. Absolute nice bait. That is a wicked bait. And that's one hook done my other hook same way thread him on lovely job done that's a killer widening rig even a pad and oster rig's fine and it's good to move your bait as well always for any fishing it's good to move your bait stimulates the fish to bite it we'll get a bit of burley out there just a little bit to stir them fish up a bit hopefully there'll be a whiting there I'd love to catch a whiting it's been a while
Oh, he's just caught something. Double header red mullet or goatfish. They're nice eating. They love worms too. Generally, where you catch these, you catch whiting as well. Where well, is that? He fell off and I hooked myself in the back. There you go. There we go. Two little goatfish. They can go back. We got a whiting, but that one, that is what you call a silver whiting. Proper silver whiting. Hey. Oh, slippy. There's no yellow fins on him. That is a, what, a real silver whiting. A lot of people call yellow fin whiting silver whiting and they're not. Yellow fin's a yellow fin, silver whiting is a silver whiting. And that's the silver whiting. He can go back. and an undersized King George Whiting so the King George Whiting can go back the Tommy Ruff is going home with me he's a nice Tommy Ruff there you go so things are looking up with the Whiting pizza later. So that's two species of whiting I've caught. If I can get a yellow fin, I've caught the whole lot of them. There's three species in this state, that's yellow fin whiting, King George whiting and silver whiting. Oh there is a weedy whiting if you want to count him as well. That is a whiting though. So I guess I've caught two out of four. Worms are in so good condition. Very happy with them. Get this bait out there. We might just get another one. It's looking fishy. Get some more burly out there. More burly. Burly helps big time. Looks good, doesn't it? Prawn leg sticking out of it. again. I've got a snag and snapped off but I've put a pad and lost a rig on. That's fine. Got to remember fish don't know what a rig is. They only know what bait is. A worm is good bait. Again, um, firstly I'd like to say this is part two. I caught what I caught yesterday which you've already seen. I thought I'd come down again for three reasons. I get to show you my worms which are now 50 hours old. They are still just alive. You can see them just moving a bit. We have movement so that's 50 hours old with this technique. Now like I said you'd be pushing your luck for the third day but if you was to put water on here, like I said, you might get a little bit longer, but hey, you generally use your fresh bait straight away anyway. So anyway, 
Second reason, I would love to catch a, a yellowfin whiting to show you guys. And third reason, I just love coming fishing. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll just there. Uh, I'm still using the same rig. I've had an Oster rig that I got snapped off yesterday, but like I said, the rig doesn't matter. It's the bait what matters, and I have the bait. This time though, I'm gonna use a little burly spring. Like everyone, like everyone says, and I say, burly is as important as your bait. With the burly spring, I'm going to get it directly to where I'm fishing. Check him out. So yeah, check him out, guys. He's still very much alive. Still fresh bait. There's my burly, my rig, baited up. Little burly spring. So where? So we are ready to rock and roll. No, so we are ready to fish. Oh, well, there you go. A little trumpeter. Catching everything but what we want. The burly's attracting something. Might be just a matter of time. The little guy can go back. There he is. Well, I had a lot of bites then. So, I've created a little bit of interest out there. So let's hope something a little bit bigger cruises along. I'm just getting lots of nibbles, probably off them little trumpeters. But eventually it might just go bang. Oh, we can keep trying. Fishing is a patient sport. There we go. A little baby flathead. Got to be very careful of these spines on these little guys. Well, and the big guys. Get this hook out without hurting him. Lovely. Well, there we go. Let's put him back. Look, he got me. Tell you what, what haven't I caught? A trevally this time. Just little. Oh. I thought that might have been my whiting actually. Oh, come on, come on. There you go, little silver trevally. He can go back. Baby whiting next time. We just got another little Tommy rough. Nice little fish. Go towards my dinner later. I just lost something big then. The hook pulled out. Well, there's a silver whiting. Still not the target species. We've caught a lot of fish on these worms so That's how good worms are, they're a very good bait. Well, I'll let him go. It's a proper silver whiting. Well guys, that's me finished for the day. That's all I got was them two little Tommy Ruffs. But I will fillet them up when I get home and they will be very nice to eat. I will crumb them and I will enjoy them. Anyway, that was just a bit of basic fishing. See how good the bungum worms work. They weren't big fish, but I caught a lot of fish. Um, good fun. Lost that one big fish. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, I'll be doing some more of this because the wife did a big mistake and bought me this GoPro Session 5. So I will be using it some more. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Tight lines, great fun fishing. This was basic fishing, but it's all good fun. 
for you. See you dudes. See you next time.